Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around guiding you through another event in Trove. This time around it is the Valentine's Day event, also known as the Heck Bug event as well. So, first of all, happy Valentine's Day everybody. Uh, so much love to all of you guys for watching these videos, supporting the community and so forth. Thank you so much for that. I do want to say before we jump into all the steps, we do not have the 14 days mini event uh, daily adventure thing we are used to where you know we do like on Tuesday you know mine one ore and that's gonna give you 10 chaos chests as you can see from the screen right here the events thing this is not because I've done it already today it's because it is just not there so no uh, 14 days of that unfortunately I don't know why they took it out they did a few times last year as well I think they should you know just change it up a little bit you know change the what you have to do the different days or but just something else maybe uh, it is cool that it has some relation to what you are doing that day anyways but I would love to see maybe a little bit of a mix up through them, but I don't think it's the right choice to take it out completely, even though it's just a small thing like mine in one or doesn't take very long doing one dungeon. It's not really and maybe the rewards are a little OP with the, the XP potion, but I don't know. I just don't think it should be taken out. Another thing I do want to show you guys, is you can see the menu here. This is the menu that some people, you know, sometimes forget that it's actually there. So if I go to my settings right here and go under my hotkeys and go down here and something called Adventure Tracker, that's what it's binded to. But so when I hit I, uh, this is going to be in the way, but this is the Adventure menu. So if your event is not showing up and you are over Mastery 10, you are um, you do have to have this shown. Sometimes you, you if you like quest. Uh, it's not done. This is might be the thing that's gonna be over so you can't see the event for itself So make sure of course you have all of this enabled So uh, yeah, make sure this all are enabled if there's something also of all of these things uh, If you do have quests you can sometimes take them out But just make sure that you do enable them again because it you know it you know doesn't show up if you have it especially events and stuff and if you don't know how like you can again go to the settings see uh, what the bind is but you can also go to the hub this is of course where you spawn in right here you got the event on the left and then you got of course delve on the right and in the middle the statue and on the right side here uh, this is of course the welcome menu you can get access it there if you want to but you can also access the adventure board here if you don't know what the key bind is but like I said you can go through the settings and see what this because I don't know what the settings are or if you bind it to something else maybe on your PC or what you've done it on the consoles but if you don't know you can just go to the hub and access it here if you don't know what the key bind is so just want to make sure you guys knew that there's a workaround you don't have to be like oh what keys is it set to but it is called like I said in the hot keys right down here it is called the adventure tracker that's the one you are going to open up so just uh, wanted to show you guys this as well before we head into steps just to a little reminder now that we don't have the 14 days uh, and I kind of said that we don't but enough ranting about this let's jump into step number one all right so for step number one we do have to make a bowl of the hecky chow I think that's how you say it it's like a chow like a sort of uh, all sort of beans and stuff like that. That's, that's my recall of it. I don't think we have something like that in Denmark. I think it's more of an American thing, but we do have to make one bowl of that. And you can do that in the Radiant Day Spring, uh, right on the left, you know, of the hub. But if you have one of these Radiant Day Spring in your cornerstone or in your club world, we do have one in the club world. You can use that one as well. But I'm just going to use the one here in the hub you can of course make yourself some uh, you know some confetti if you want to do so but this is the back heggy back of heggy chow this is what we are going to uh, have and make uh, as well so first we need the tata tates we need some sticky icky and we need some chocolate and we need some bones so the tater tots are from gardening you can of course also obtain these on the marketplace if you want to do so i don't have too many of these but you can go through gardening and get them as well if you just want to do that or just go ahead and buy 25 on the marketplace if you want to do that so same thing with the sticky icky i call it sticky icky because i know it's not called sticky icky but that's what i use it that's of course when you defeat bugs as you can see uh, it also used to be when you defeat it uh, like grass and stuff like that defeated grass <laughs> mowed down the grass there was a chance of getting this as well but that's way long back there's nothing anymore you just uh, go ahead and defeat some bugs and 
uh, dog bug like creatures that's also of course uh, bees and stuff like that so a lot of in the medieval highlands and stuff like that around that or you can just buy it off the marketplace as well it is through that as well of course the bones you can go that of course in dragonfire peaks to get some of those or just get them off the marketplace as well the chocolate is a little bit different because chocolate we need something different and let me show you guys a little bit where we are gonna obtain the chocolate if you do not know all right, so to obtain the chocolate, we have to do go get use the gardening bench. This is also where we got the tater tarts through. But for chocolate, we well, we can't just get it. I think you can get the sponges off the marketplace if you want to do so. Or if you are around, like I said, about 150 uh, gardening level, then you can get these chocolate sponges. So we're gonna go ahead. These are gonna cost you some uh, wild cupcakes. Of course, they can be obtained through, uh, you know, the uh, Candoria biome or or you can also of course obtain them on the marketplace and glim is of course as we know glim as well and it is we have to make ourselves uh, 10 of these 10 sponges to get enough uh, chocolate sorry about that of course is not 10 we need 15 so I'm gonna go ahead and craft myself 15 instead <laughs> I just had to confirm so there we go we have the 15 sponges and now we all we have to do is find ourselves some chocolate all right, so now we are in a Kandoria biome. I just went to the one that, you know, right here because that's the one that's gonna have the most because we just have to find some of these brown stuff, the chocolate here. And all you have to do is have it in your inventory on one of your bars and just throw it down, throw it down, throw it down, throw it down until you get enough. Uh, sometimes if you don't get all of them, uh, sometimes there is some bugs uh with somebody else trying to get some chocolate as well for them so go let's go check out it's under the crafting thing here so it's right here i did get 15 sometimes it might bug out sometimes it can be buggy and you don't get 15 all you have to do is relock like close down the game and open it up again and it will give you uh, the chocolate here so you can start you know that so sometimes it can be buggy if you throw them real quick and stuff so sort of like when you have with the pinatas as well they can also bug out sometimes so sometimes you just have to change world or just log out and just log back in and it, it just depends on how fast you throw them but i'm gonna go ahead to the club and craft myself the bag all right we are now in the club and we do have like i said a radiant day spring here so i'm gonna use that one to craft the bag as you can see the 15 chocolate the bones are 15 of that 25 of the sticky icky and 25 of the totters as well so that crafting that is going to complete step number one and uh, i think we just have to throw it for step number two but i'll see you guys in that one all right so step number two as we just completed step number one we just have to throw it it is already in our inventory if it's not you can just you know place it down right click it put it down in your inventory here and you just have to because you can't not right click it and open it you do have to throw it and also it's not tradable either so yeah step number two is just to throw it let me just do that and that's gonna be it oh you can actually keep throwing it oh and now we got a little guy here so yeah it looks like we have to go to the dragon fire peaks and that's gonna be for step number three so that was step number two see you in step number three all right so for step number three we all we have to do is defeat 50 uh, of the infestation as they say so this it's just the enemies that are around here they're pretty easy to see because they got this heart around them and if i go up here to the one of these blue ones see here i'm gonna go just attack it attack it i can't kill it i can't kill it i can't kill it and there you go and the little guy because i've already had that guy uh, <laughs> i guess i have to kill him as well and this guy is also coming to play but yeah you can't do demand damage to it let me go over and hit this one see you're only doing one damage to it uh, so you'll probably never kill it uh, I am in the, let me go right up here. Can you just hold on, sir? Uh, I am in the Dragonfire Peaks right over here in the U5 because that's one that has the most Dragonfire Peaks. It doesn't matter which one you have. You can go into any one of these, of course, on the Prime Worlds to find yourself a Dragonfire Peaks because it do have to be a Dragonfire Peaks that you are going to find these here bugs. So it's not dungeons or anything like that. So how do we get the shield of them? Well, what we do is that we throw down our back that we have. It's gonna, you know, do that. And that is sometimes it's gonna make it, you know, fall in love with us or angry it is. And so all we have to do is just defeat it like that uh, when it uh, loses the shield. So just look around, as you can see, it's not a mod or anything like that. This is what it looks for everyone. And it stays around the little guy for a while. So it's just gonna have to work up. So you just have to wait a little bit and it'll, uh, 
you know, do its thing to it. Uh, you can also just throw it down again and then it'll come back and then it's gonna, maybe that's actually gonna be faster, I don't know, but you do have to do 50 of these. So I'm gonna go around and do 50 of these. Uh, it might also be a little more, more laggy in the, you know, in the U5 here, because that's where there's more dragon, most Dragonfire Peaks. So that's where people are gonna go because they wanna get the event done as well. So I'm gonna go around and defeat my last 40, 44 actually of these guys and I'll just see you guys in step number four All right, so this is not step four But I did want to show you guys a little bit of a thing here So I'm almost at my peak here and these drop also these boxes here These can be sold if you want to or they can obtain uh, like some new allies and mounts and stuff like that in them So they might be a good idea to sell. I don't know what they sell for right now but there might be some cool stuff in them that you also might want to have yourself, but you can also maybe sell them. Also, if you throw down these this bag here, uh, it might be a bigger chance uh, a few times, uh, sometimes a little bit slow when you're trying to get you know them to uh, hit them or fall in love with them or whatever. So just throw it down a few times before it works. Sometimes that's at least what happened to me. Sometimes it's not working completely. Uh, instantly so just have your patience when you are doing it it, it will uh, get to it either uh, you know fall in love with your little uh, your little friend or uh, you know uh, make you very very angry I guess that's how love works right but anyways that was now it's definitely step number three done we are going to head into step number four all right, so for step number four, we just have to continue what we're doing, but this time we have to have to find them love. So before we, it didn't matter if you got, you know, love or you got, you know, they got it to hatred, I guess. But this time around, it has to be love. And again, it's just random, whichever you are going to get. I just got three in a row. Just want to see if that was the case. See, that broke its heart. Oh, so it's not going to work. Oh yeah, a broken heart is never nice. So let's see if these guys, one of them is going to fall in love. Oh, one broke its heart. No, don't break its heart. Please just have some love. Come on. Oh, another broken heart. But all you have to do is just keep doing in the Dragonfire Peaks as we, uh, you know, did before and just keep going. It's random. It seems like there's more broken hearts, unfortunately, than love. That kind of makes me a little sad. But yeah, you just have to keep doing this for step number four until you get 10. Again, you're still getting more and more of these boxes that you can sell or you can open them and maybe get some stuff for yourself in those but yeah that was step number four i'm gonna get my you know last uh, seven here fall in love hopefully it will be all love from here on out but anyways that was like i said step, step number four let's head into step number five all right so uh, this is step number five or is it <laughs> no it is step number five uh it looks step number six right there but the weirdest thing uh, ever happened. I've never tried this sort of thing. I do like it. Um, actually spawned a great idea in my head. So I'm going to also tell you about that one. But uh, I, yeah, the, the step number five is completed because I was running around. I was trying to figure out these invaders. I think I found one of them at a certain point. I found one of these invaders. It kind of looks like the, the other ones we have been defeating, but it looks like more robotic or more, uh, you know, door to the moon, uh, shadow towers kind of looking one. If you defeat one of those, it actually, or somebody in the world you are in, uh, it's actually going to complete it for you and suddenly it was just completed because somebody uh, found it uh, in here in this world or found three of them in this world and they not uh, exactly but if you are in a world it, it is the world you are in it it's not you know globally but if somebody finds these invaders they are kind of rare I only like I said only found one of them and when I saw it I just defeated it and maybe somebody else got their quest complete as well so step number five you just run around in the world if you find one of them of course defeat them if you see them just defeat them as well because somebody in the world might be on that step and actually defeat it so maybe you're not on the step or you're just out there you know farming for the rest of the event if you see one of them defeat them and somebody might complete their step so that's what happened to me and suddenly I was just I was just looking into what was going on and suddenly it was just completed. So I had to ask a few people. Uh, so shout out to Le Alpha Legacy for helping me out right there because I did not know what was going on. But it is uh, worldwide. And when I say world, it's not the complete, you know, whole trove game, but it's only the world you are in. So if you're alone in the world, you do have to, you know, go by yourself. But you just go to any world and you don't even have to be in a, I was in a Dragonfire Peaks, but you don't have to be in a Dragonfire Peaks biome for it to work. 
You just somebody completes it and that's it. That's how it works. So that spawned an idea in my head that I'm super actually excited about uh, because I think it would be cool if they made like a global event, like for the whole, you know, whole game, right? That we had to defeat like 1 million. They do this in Pokemon Go. That's why they're doing it. And that's kind of, that's also what spawned the idea that, you know, if we defeated or found, let's say found or just 10 million, 100 million of these, you know, uh, heck bucks here. If we defeated like, let's say 100 million during the event, we would get an extra bonus at the event. So it's like a global thing that everybody could see and, uh, you know, and everybody was helping towards not only like, you know, a, a certain amount of people or, you know, uh, individual quests or anything like, but a global quest to defeat like 100 million. It seems like a lot, 100 million, but, you know, 50, I just did, you know, about, I would say about 100 of them just doing this. And it, you know, if everybody does that, maybe also 100 million might be a little big, but I'm just, you know, a big, big number that, you know, is going to take us not just one day to complete. <laughs> In Trove, people just really grind stuff out, so it might be two days, but at least, you know, uh, uh, something that would last the whole event that everybody was working together for. And you can basically see that, hey, we are now on 10 million, 20 million, or something like that, and we're working together to unlock a, in bonus another bonus uh, that everybody maybe gets like a, a golden dragon effigy. I know that's a pretty big reward, but it should also be a very large, you know, quest or uh, whatever. And it could be shown in the, what we were looking here, like, oh yeah, you can see now this many and this many. Uh, or invaders that maybe not uh, the 100 million invaders, but you do something that we all work together to do like a big quest that everybody works together and we help each other out instead of just completing our own quest. And then we're just basically on our own with all of this. But basically the whole community, the whole troll community, you know, works together across, uh, you know, every club and, you know, stuff like that. Not, not cross, of course, platform. That's not what I mean. But yeah, this, this spawned the idea because I just love community things like that. Uh, and also that would, because it's such a big uh, task ahead of us, it would be a big reward we would get for it as well. So it'd be worth it, right? Um, so I just had this idea while I was, you know, when I was, as soon as I saw it, it was like, you know, in the world you were in wide, I was just like, wow, they can do that. I didn't know that there was even possible in Trove that, uh, you know, I knew, I know there's a range on things, you know, when you have a pinata, for example, you defeat that one or whatever, then there is a range on when you can re receive the rewards, the same thing with dungeons and stuff like that. There is a range on when you can receive the rewards and how in range of the items and such and such. But glow, like not globally, but yeah, I would, I would love a thing like that. That would be super awesome, something we can all work together and just bring the whole community around for that reward. That would just be super awesome. But yeah, just, uh, you know, sorry for ranting on this. You guys, you know, don't <laughs> just want to get the steps done. But I thought it was just an amazing idea that I just got because I just really want it all to be there. And also step number five kind of completed itself. So anyways, enough ranting on step number five. Let's head into step number six. All right, so for step number six, we do have to go to the Dioden Caves and help out some critters. Uh, we do have to go to the Sunken Sun Vault. That's the red portal. And you can also pick up the, uh, you know, the quest as well. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. To help out cave critters is going to help the ones as well. I have found a few of them because I'm kind of doing a retake right now because I wasn't really satisfied with the take on uh, step number six but we are going to do it now. So all you have to do is of course go from the main and you just go through it. Uh, the circle here is of course a mod that I have so you know, can see it better. Uh, you don't maybe not have this if you're playing on you know consoles and stuff like that. All you have to do of course is go up, give them the food, the, the health kit or the blankets depending on what they want. But yeah, they are a little bit easier for me to see because I do have the mod. So a blue one is for the for the blanket and the other ones are of course the other colors for what it is. You also get the lesser crystal caches for doing this. So it's just, they work just like regular critters as you have. I don't know why I feel like I'm saying quitters when I've seen, uh, I call them critters. I guess that's the way it just sounds like I'm saying quitters, you know? With a, with, a, with a Q, right? But yeah, you just gotta go around and help 25 of these and you'll get to see 
uh, complete this quest. Also, this is the way that the new mounts and allies and stuff like works. There's also, of course, the treasure chest one. Those you don't need to do with the either of them. So you can just go through it if you're doing it anyways and just get hit him with your laser. That's going to help you out. But I'm going to go quickly as I can through all of these, get the step done and also, you know, get on to step number seven. So, yeah, that's all I really had to say for step number six. So I'm gonna, just going to go through all of this. Get them my stuff done and, and then we are going to go into step number seven so i'll see you in that one all right so sorry for interrupting before we head into step number seven i do want to say what the name of the mod is called if you do play on pc it's called easy to see critters uh let me see yeah easy to see critters desires that's what it's called but you search for easy to see critters you can see that's what the picture is of what it is you know if you want to use it if you're on pc want to see them a little bit easier it is that is what the mod is easy to see critters so that's the name of the mod just wanted to mention that before we head into that step number seven all right guys so for step number seven we have to hatch a heck bug egg but how you're gonna get one of these well you can just go through again through the sunken sunwell you can see i'm actually on tier one and this one was right here this is a mod by the way that also shows you the egg i'm just gonna tell you now before you guys we get too far it's called egg finder it's just gonna show this big one and also it should kind of shows all of it and it's just much easier to find eggs and apparently also works for these here heck bug eggs so this one wasn't even in the side area i thought it could only be in the side areas but you just have to move into it and you're gonna get it i'm just gonna go to a side area right here and see if i can't okay it's gonna go up so it's not gonna be super easy but with the mod i would actually be able to see it right there you can see it's right actually up there and usually that's where i found some i already have like 10 of them but they're just super uh, super easy to see when you have the mod of course it's all again you just have to walk into them and this is also what they of course look like and it seems like there's more than one in these side areas sometimes it, i don't think it's like guaranteed to get more than one but i'm just gonna go here and see if i can't uh find one more that would be very cool if there was one more i found one uh, side area that had at least like two or three of them so i think it's yeah okay this one only had one of these and it's not even at the end and you like i said you can also uh you know find it uh what's it called in just not even in the side areas just in you know in wherever you are playing so uh yeah just go through and you'll actually already get one and then it, that is not going to complete you the step but i just wanted to show you guys how you're going to get the egg all right, we are back in the sanctuary and before we can complete step number one, we have to hatch it. So this is where you spawn in and on the left here, this is over where the incubator is, incubator. And uh, there's a lot of people here, but right here there is a, you know, um, the egg incubator. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, use that. And you can see this is the ink incubator. I used all my upgrades to do some of these. And this is just where you usually put your eggs into. I don't have one right now, but of course you can see the heck bug one here is right here and I actually only take. 10 seconds to do so i thought it was going to be two hours i thought i had to use one of these but it's only going to 10 10 seconds or 12 seconds i guess to hatch it and that's going to hatch it up i'm going to hatch some more <laughs> actually to just do it and then of course it's ready to hatch so i'm going to go ahead and click that one that's going to give us a new ally as well or not an ally but a new cave guy let's see if there's different ones now that these are almost done let's hit it and hit it here and hit it here so yeah this just uh it's just the same so they're just uh, very cool so i'm gonna go incubate some more but yeah that's gonna complete step number seven as well i like that it's not only and also that's gonna give us the uh bouncing uh, mount here the bouncing heck bug as well so thank you guys so much for watching all of these i know i was a little bit on the rant for the step number five i'm sorry about that but i just thought it was a cool idea and maybe it's something that the devs will see i'm gonna try at least you know um you know treat it adam that could be a cool thing a new thing something we haven't tried before maybe something exclusive or an, a great idea for sunfest again something different i don't know if they can be done at least they know they can do the global thing anyways i'm not gonna rant anymore i'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching this video thank you again so much and much love and much love for the valentine's event again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye